How is it that the etrog became synonymous with the Torah's Hadar fruit? During the festival of Sukkot, also known as Tabernacles, Jews take a palm frond, known as a lulav, two twigs from a type of willow tree called aravot, two myrtle branches called hadasim, and a citron, which is called an etrog, to fulfill the biblical commandment, the mitzvah of the four species. This commandment is found in the book of Leviticus. The first three of the four species are indigenous to the land of Israel and would be easy to come by for the ancient Israelites. What about the fourth? The etrog is not native to Israel. It actually comes from the foothills of the Himalayas. Furthermore, the name etrog is not found in the Torah. Rather, the verse commands the Israelites to take the fruit of the tree of beauty, known in Hebrew as pre Eitz Hadar. Maimonides, in his commentary on the Mishnah, mentions that the identity of the etrog as the Hadar fruit dates from the time of Moses, and that as there has been no argument on it, its identity has been passed from generation to generation, and thus the etrog's identification as the Hadar fruit cannot be refuted. The Babylonian Talmud brings several qualifications as to what qualifies a Hadar fruit, and these identifying qualities put the etrog in a class by itself. What about archaeology? How far back can we trace this tradition in the land of Israel? Well, the current archaeological consensus on the matter is that the etrog made its way from China via India to Persia sometime during the 6th century BCE. Fossilized pollen has been found at the site of Ramat Rachel, just south of Jerusalem, and shows that the etrog was being cultivated in the land of Israel in the area of Jerusalem from sometime between the 5th and 4th centuries BCE. This, however, is a consensus, and the answer is far from reconciled. Academic scholarship is bound by the earliest irrefutable evidence, and therefore, as we have found etrog pollen in the site of Ramat Rachel, we could therefore peg a early date that is undeniable between the 5th and 4th centuries before the Common Era. That said, there are some interesting, though inconclusive, archaeological specimens from throughout the Levant and the Mediterranean that, if proven, could put Etrogim in the Levant almost 6,000 years ago. Citrus seeds dating to the Sumerian period were discovered in the site of Nippur during an archaeological excavation in the south of Mesopotamia. The seeds found in the excavation were charred. As such, they could only be identified as belonging to the category of citrus. The specific species could not be determined. As the seeds were damaged, they were not able to be precisely dated. Furthermore, their presence in Nippur does not necessarily indicate the tree from which they came from was cultivated in Mesopotamia at that time. The same problem is true at the archaeological site of Hala Sultan Teki, located on the island nation of Cyprus. Charged citrus seeds were found that date to the 12th century BCE. Unfortunately, because of the damage, they could not be determined from having come from an etro. In 1891, archaeologist Victor Lore found what to him appeared to be etrogs depicted on the walls of the botanical garden of the Temple of Karnak, dated to the time of the pharaoh Tutmosis III. His opinion has not been accepted by the scholarly consensus, as this depiction is truly open to interpretation. From the 5th century BCE and onwards, as we said before, there is much evidence of cultivation of the etrog in Greek, Roman and Jewish writings. What's interesting as an outlier is the Samaritans. The Samaritans also have a Torah and also have the verse which mentions pre eitz Hadar, the fruit of a tree of beauty. They believe that the pre eitz Hadar, the fruit of the tree of beauty, is referring to a lemon. That said, the rabbinical Jewish literature is unanimous in its claim that the etrog is the Hadar fruit of the Torah. In summary, there is solid evidence for the cultivation of the etrog in the land of Israel from the 5th to 4th centuries BCE. There is circumstantial evidence of citrus fruit as a commodity in the Levant for the past 6,000 years. Jewish sources are absolutely harmonious from as far back as they can be sourced as saying that the etrog is the Hadar fruit and that this tradition dates back to Moses himself. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video on Jewish customs, check out these others on the screen. Thanks for watching.